to my shop. Today I'm going to do a little bit of casting. Um, I'm going to make some pen blanks. Uh, there's the Woodstock Wood Show coming up uh, at the end of September 2019, the last weekend. So I want to bring as many products as I can with me, including pen blanks. So I'm going to be making some denim pen blanks. There's a fellow that's asked me to make him some, so that's going to be on the agenda for I've now. I've got a bunch of uh, pieces of denim from a single pair of jeans that were my lads, my sons, and I've cut them into pieces that are approximately four inches by six inches, so they will fit into this mold that I made, and I will stack them up and compress them. I'm not going to put them in the vacuum chamber because I think with the compression it's going to be good enough because as, as I add each layer I'm going to push out any air bubbles that might be in there. Um, this is another one that I made. Basically it's nylon and this is for making casting pen blanks. If I can get that in there. It's pretty tight. It does go in there. It did go in there. Not today though. Okay, there's some resin stuck on it still. That's why from the last time I used it. Get that right off of there. See if it will go in now. There it is. Okay, so essentially I can make two clear cast pen blanks with um, you know the image on the tubes which I've done in the past as well although I haven't made a video of it but that could be something that I could make um, I made these out of this nylon material and I turned these on the lathe just to push into any size uh, tube that I may have and then if they're longer or shorter then I can just put a wedge in here to push that in one way or the other and this is pretty tight and the resin stays in see they don't fall out it's pretty tight so that's that so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a Lumalite clear cast um, part A part B mix of a one to one ratio by volume which essentially means I'm gonna mix equal amounts of weight so I'm going to be measuring in weight on my scale here. Now I am no expert at this, but I have had some success. So let's hope we get some success today, yeah? So we'll pour some in here of part A. Uh, milliliters, it doesn't matter what you measure because it's going to be the same of each. We'll go with uh, we'll go with say sixty of each. I, I think that's lots. There it is. That's sixty of part A. Now I'm mixing it in the same container straight away, and uh, if I accidentally say put sixty-five of part B, all I need to do is put five more of part A, and it's simple simple solution so that's 60 I need to go to 120 figured that out on my own one seventeen one eighteen and one twenty there we have exactly the same amount so I'll get a stir stick and I'll stir this for five minutes Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is put my gloves on because this stuff can be messy. Okay, we'll get this mixed up. And we'll keep an eye on the time. And I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so there's my resin. I've been stirring it for five minutes. There's all kinds of bubbles in there. But like I say, I'm no expert at this. I'm going to spray some of this um, mold release conditioner into the mold because um, it might it might help somewhat, I guess. After I got the thing in there, sometimes it can be tricky to get it out, but you can just take the bolts out and take the thing apart. But if that helps, 
it's a bonus. Right, so now what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to get messy with my hands. If it helps, I've picked up these silicone mats um, from Canadian Tire, I think. I'm going to lay these down on this side, which is perfectly smooth. And if anything spills on it, after it's cured, it should just peel right off. It shouldn't stick to that. Um, although the Formica might have the same properties, but I think it's just easier this way. So I'm going to put that there, that there. Don't need my stick anymore. I'll put that to one side. And basically one at a time, I'm going to soak them in the resin and place them in the mold, one over the other, and then just kind of ease them in. So I'm going to move you to one side so I can work on okay, this. Okay, so here goes lucky number one. In the resin, I need to get it on both sides, but I don't, I don't need, I don't need it to be too thick, so I can actually kind of wipe it off. This is messy, eh? Yeesh. Okay, I made one before, but it was a single mold. There was just the one single mold that I made, and it was successful. I turned, uh, I was actually able to turn two pens out of it because um, I think it was the the bolt action pen and a Sierra pen, I think. And I may have to make some more resin here. I'm not sure because I'm using it like that's a lot of resin. So I'll fast forward you through this process. so I actually ran out of resin so I had to mix up another batch so first of all I mixed up 60 uh, of each so that was 120 milliliters of complete resin I've just made up another batch of 101 of each so that's another 202 milliliters on top of what I already had now I can hear all the resin people say oh you can't do that well, well we're gonna do it this time because it's like I said I'm new to resin so if it doesn't work out that's okay but I think it will I think it'll be just fine I'm confident I've got confidence okay
Okay, so there it is. I was actually quite surprised about the amount of resin that squeezed out of there. So uh, I'm just hoping that I'm going to take this apart tomorrow and hopefully uh, the blank will be in there and usable. Um, I used pretty much a whole roll of uh, paper to wipe up the mess that I've made and uh, the four clamps to keep any air bubbles or pockets of just resin from being present in the blanks and uh, anyway so this will be four blanks when I cut it up into uh, four individual pen blanks so so that should be good there it is I'll come back when it's all set and we'll cut it up so now comes the fun part <clears throat> this has been set overnight and the resin has gone hard so I can take my clamp off and as you can see there's some spillage um, if I could just get my blade under that it will just come right off of the formica just like that it doesn't stick so little tip there. This piece here, um, a lot of it pushed out so I'm hoping that it's uh, got no air bubbles or anything in it. So I'm going to dismantle this to some extent and see what we've got. So first of all I'll take these three screws out and take the, uh, the front plate off if I can. I might have to get some pliers yeah, that resin sticks to everything. Taking that stud right out. Not really ideal. But it works. Let's see. Okay, so you can be quite aggressive with these things and just smack it. And that's come loose, just comes right off. And as you can see, the end of the, uh, the block of denim looks pretty good. I'll see if I can get a screwdriver in there and wedge it and pry it. Big one, let's see if this works. Maybe not. When in doubt, drop it on the floor. Okay, so a method I've used several times is with a chisel. I just, there's a little gap there. Just gently lever that out. And that comes right out of the mold and now I have to try and remove this other piece that I put in there <laughs> it's in there pretty good I didn't put mold release on that one oh there it is it came right out so there's the blank it's actually a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be but it's definitely compact and I think we can still get some decent pen blanks out of it. So I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw and we're going to cut it into three quarter inch blanks. And I think I can get uh, five out of this, this one piece, if you can see that. That's solid. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it to the bandsaw now and we'll cut it into three quarter inch sections. And there they are. Five denim pen blanks ready to be used. I will leave them probably for a couple of days before I would attempt turning them just so that the resin is properly cured 
but as you can see it's pretty tight there's no air bubbles no resin bubbles or anything like that I'll leave some photographs at the end so you can check them out hey, Jimmy, can you paint kits out of jeans? yeah these are pen blanks cool I'm gonna make some more of these because they, they came out really nice yeah they came out awesome